During my weeks of playing solo, I've had a really rough time. But I think it's safe to say, this was more than a decent wipe. The solo journey is never easy. But that's one of the main reasons why I keep coming back to the solo life. When I make my videos, I try to portray Rust from a true aspect, and a point of view that's understandable. Soloing Rust is not always easy. In this video, you will see all the ups and downs of a solo player, combined with a chill vibe that I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think down below. Enjoy the video. Alright, how do I start this? <laughs> Stupid me, forgot to hit the record button. But uh, I just got a base down here. Close the launch site. Nothing special, actually. I played on this server before, have a few blueprints. So that's why I want to live close to launch. Because launch site was getting taken when I signed into the server. Uh, we're gonna have a good wipe, I think. We're gonna have a really good wipe. Off we go, I guess. This is a pretty good location. The only thing I don't like about it is the desert. That, that's the only thing. Thank you so much for the support lately. I, I'm, I'm doing insane right now on YouTube, like 30k per video. To me, that's <laughs> that's insane. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoy Solar Series, because I enjoy making them. <sighs> Another set of binoculars, that's not what I need. We just need scrap. We need a tier two and then we're set. Lots of animals here. Oh my God. The damage is insane on animals. Everything here is unlooted, which is perfect. This is gonna be our go-to spot. We can recycle here. Oh, look at all these crates. We're gonna have a tier 2 in no time. This is so good. It's perfect. Green card? Yeah. Military box? Yep. We're gaming! We're slowly getting there. Pretty good run, to be fair. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Let's go! Come on. If I can get this... That's a perfect start. We can start roaming with guns, you know? Nobody's roaming out here. Alright, give me something good. Yes. Pretty decent airdrop, I would say. We got a SAR. We're gonna go oil rig with this. Just need the cards, that's all. <clears throat> okay. Let's see if it's unlooted. Sewer branch? I think it is. Ooh. Military box. Perfect. We're getting loaded. Haven't encountered anyone. We can just do what we do in peace, which is good. Kinda like it like that. Just getting a good start since I have the blueprints. Okay. Blue key card. Ooh. I see. I'll use that for now instead of the coffee can. It gives me more overall protection. Okay, just gotta start recycling. That's perfect. Almost 200 scrap. Ah, oh, I wish I get two. I wish I got two fuses. Then I could do airfield right away. Then I could have gone oil rig. Oh, what the fuck? Thank you. <laughs> There's some wood in there. Okay, let's make a new TC. We're moving base. We're moving down here. To the water. I think it's better for a solo to live down there. After roaming the map a bit more, I found a really flat spot close to launch and in the water. So, as a solo, that's perfect. Okay, so we just build here, I guess. Ugh. Oh. 
Fuck it. Let's just move everything I can. Throwing this away. Don't need that now. Boom, new base. Same design. Just a bit more nicer. Hey, I think I can make a tier two. Oh, I think I can make a tier two. I mean, I, I know I can. Just gotta expand my little shit base. Oh yeah, I found this jackhammer, by the way, in a base nearby and a few pump shotguns. Because I know there's someone out there. Oh my God, it's scripted. <laughs> so yeah, but we're doing okay, I guess. During the night time, I went to airfield to get a red key card. With the red key card, I could do oil rig. I'm pretty lucky since there was a boat outside my base. Alright, I think that's... Let's hope I have enough fuel. I, I'm not sure about that. I have to go small oil rig, I think. There might be someone on oil rig. Oh. Two metal chest plates, one face mask. I mean, this is okay. Not what I really wanted, but uh, there was no counters at Oilrig, so I kind of fast forward it for you. This is all the loot that I got from Oilrig. Oh. I don't have any space. What is this? Getting all the loot back to the base from Oilrig means I could roam. I had a really good start. <laughs> I don't know why, but I can just see... <laughs> I'm gonna kill these guys. Uh, I can just tell by the movement. There's no way he's tapping AK. I, I think he's on his roof as well. Kinda cringe. This is what Rust has become. I feel so bad for this guy. He just got roof camped by three kids and I just came here and finished everything up. But well, that's a free Tommy, I guess. I'm just gonna loot his gun, I don't care about the house. I mean, he probably has some bullets, but uh, his friend is really close. I'm just gonna dip with this. <laughs> yeah, here they come, like ants. Oh no, he killed the queen, let's go for him! <laughs> let's just hold W, cause numbers always win! Well, I'm gonna give them their own medicine. They have no clue who they're messing with. Uh, I'm gonna show them they can't win with numbers. Uh, 
man, this is another reason why I don't play more than three, because... <laughs> Look how they just hold W, thinking they're gonna win this. You, what, you just call me a f Did you just call me a clamshell? Quest just called me a fucking clam! <laughs> this kid is funny. He, he thought I said clam. I, I said stop playing in clans. They're like five or six on this server and just typing chat all day, so... Yeah, that was pretty funny that I killed him. Oh my god, what the fuck just happened? Kill another guy? Where the fuck did he come from? Woo! We made it! Let's go! Such a nice play. The funny thing is, these kids, when I spawned at the beach, they killed me and they were so toxic. I spawned up here, you see I'm dead here, right? I didn't die since I spawned here. They killed me, and they said like, oh, you're so bad. And I said, solo always wins, and they said, Haha, fuck solo. So, but yeah, I didn't record that, but it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny how I outplay them. That was a good run. Can't afford to die now. This is a pretty big recycle run. No way, this is so busted. It's respawning every minute. Okay, I gotta eat. Now we do nice like this. This is a loot room. Oh, I have food in my mouth, but cargo is out. We have to go. Fuck, I just have to place this down, random. I did a few oil runs, that's why I have like a bolt and stuff. In case anyone wonders. Like, oh, yeah, you, you, you know the drill. I do stuff offline as well, like off camp. I see him. I'm just so lucky. I had no meds. My MP5 was about to break. <laughs> and this guy just delivers it for me. I'm so lucky. Oh. Alright, she's not dead.
Oh. So lucky, bro. So, what the f is going on? I was drinking my tea! What is this? What the fuck is this? Alright. 10 HP, let's go. There could be one more, I I'm not sure. That's the worst crates I've ever had, bro. Oh! <laughs> this cargo run was so important for me. I killed all the counters and I looted all the crates and went back to my base. This is all the loot that I got. Oh, I made it in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to sort it out later. Oh yeah, and by the way, let me know in the comments down below what you think about the content when I include farming, base building, PvP. Just a bit of everything, instead of just snowballing and PvPing all day. Let me know what you think. Just try to keep it chill, you know? When I was roaming the area for a while, I found a decaying base right next to me. Since I had a few grenades and a grenade launcher, I thought it might be worth raiding it. So I went for it. I really hope I can reach the loot room. This might just be the first door. How much is everything? 400, that's not enough. Alright. Have to do... Yeah. Oh, I see a sleeper. This is going to be worth. Where the fuck is he? Oh, they're landing. What do I do? The fuck? Ok, 
Okay, how did it hit me? I'm getting countered. Fighting too late. Help me, bro! Help me! Don't kill me, man. I'm helping you. There's an AK dead here. Kill him, bro. He's behind the... Behind the external. He's behind the external, bro. The body's in the water. Oh, he's so fucked. Oh, I don't have a bolt eh? I can't use the bolt eh? Where the fuck is he? He doesn't know I have the AK. It's over. Where is he? Ah, oh, he's... So bad. So easy, man. Thank you so much for all this. Oh shit, he's coming back with a car. I'm so dead. What the fuck is this cringe? You're so cringe, pathetic. That's so cringe. Look at this greed. I knew they would come back to the heli. Well, that's a free kit. I'll take it. I kind of wish I could take it back, but it's gonna get stolen because I don't have any low grade at all.
That's a free AQ set. Fucking revenge. At least one set secured. So we gotta expand the base a bit. I have a bit of stone. Someone was doing Bradley a few minutes ago. I, I think I'm too late, but uh, I, I, I can check it out. I think I'm just gonna deep with this. is that all right I got the loot I guess <laughs> no just two rows of normal ammo what what in the world is going on <laughs> all right <laughs> a few hours later I went back to the base where I found the sleeper that I raided I just had a feeling it was gonna be decaying, so I went back. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? Oh my god, what the fuck is this server? I did put all the loot at my base, and I made it back. But there was one wall missing to the TC, and I could actually soft side that. So I went back to soft side it. Yeah, I have to spare it before someone else does. I don't have meds, nothing, this is it. This was so shit. Oh, oh oil refiner, I actually need that.
Oh, eight eggs as well. I'm leaving. Ah, oh, felt so good. Okay. I don't think I have enough storage for this. Uh. All right, I really have to upgrade my base. Armored. Uh, I don't like upgrading everything to fucking high quality, but I have to. I really have to. Right, there we go. This is my white peaks. White gaps. Mm, window frames goes here. I may have fucked up a little bit. I need a window here. Forgot about it. Oh. There we go. We got heli peaks as well. Take heli from this side. It's literally perfect. Jesus Christ, we need even more stone for this. It takes so much stone to finish a base. It's insane. After patching the base up, I heard a big fight close to power plant, so I went to check it out naked. I spawned on a bag real close by.
That's one. I don't know where the other one is though. Okay, I'll deep on my kit here. And I go naked. Okay, he's in the house. Wait, if he knows where my loot is, they're cheating. 100% sure. Yeah, if they know my shit is here, they're cheating. I have no clue where is. fuck was that? These guys were loaded. There's even more shit. I, I couldn't loot. I understand. I don't think I understand how stressful that was. Like, no meds, nothing. In a forest, a crate. I just had to. I get a lot of comments all the time like, Oh, you didn't loot this, you didn't, you didn't loot that. I don't think you guys play solo, to be honest. Like, because if you do, you, you don't have the time to loot everything. And that's just pure facts, you know? You don't have the time to stand and loot everything, you know? Nobody does. That's the solo. Right, he's outside. He might go for the horse now. I think he just looted a crate. That was definitely worth it. Fucking 1k scrap. I met a new ally on the server called Slakten. He was a really cool guy and played solo as well. He picked me up to go farm in the snow with him and since I wanted to do a raid, this was perfect. So he picked me up in his minicopter and we went to farm a bit. We're just going for a farming run. He's really kind. He, he lives really close to me. So we're, we're just going for a big farming run. Kind of nice that he asked me to follow, to be honest. I've known him since I started on the server. He he killed me and didn't loot my shit. And he just gave it back. He's just been friendly. So I don't know him in real life, but uh, he's, a, he's a cool guy. We just gotta cook this and then we can raid someone. I have a few silver cooked, but I, I need a bit more. So, next time you will see me raiding. I crafted some rockets and went behind launch site. There was a stone base that I thought was pretty cheap to raid. And launch bases used to be loaded, so I wanted to give it a try.
Okay, doesn't look promising at all. Promising boys. I have no clue where it is. All right. That was a real tricky one. This was down here. This base was annoying as fuck. Alright, high call. Red key cards. Alright. Okay, a little bit of gear set. This is a grub, I think. A lot of ammo, though. Oh my god, all the components. That's good. Wasn't that bad raid after all, I think. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That was the only thing that was worth it. The component box. Oh my god. I'm so... I'm so dumb. Alright. This was definitely worth it. <laughs> there, uh, I almost missed this box. <laughs> I'm... I'm speechless. I don't have any clue. I have to deeper this. <laughs> oh my god. Or maybe I have. I don't know. Oh my god, look at my components box. This is all the loot that I got from the raid. It was pretty good, I would say. Unfortunately, I couldn't play the next day because someone walled off the whole entire base. So I had two compounds instead of one. And I couldn't get out of the base pretty much. They also placed a lot of externals all around the base. So the wipe was pretty much over. I had a great experience. And if you enjoyed watching it, make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'm really close to 30k subscribers. So that would be a cool number to achieve. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. And yeah, people is sad in this game. I mean, walling someone off is just so cringe. But yeah, if you can't beat me, I guess you have to grief me. <laughs> yep, that rhymed. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.